Hello guys, today we are going to discuss about data quality management, shortly called as DQM. So in why this has been introduced into MDG system? First of all, we need to understand this part. Suppose there is a requirement in MDG, we are, we are doing a validation at one place like BRF plus and another validation at BADI level. So we can use it as inside BADI. Another validation, we, if we have done inside cross entity body, it will be in different place. So all three are like different different places they are in. Also for body, we need to add some code and all. So in order to reduce technical effort and decrease the line of coding, they have introduced a new tool called DQM. So this is called data quality management. In this what we will do is suppose if anyone came new to our project they can easily view all the rules at a particular place. This is like centralizing all the rules. That is why data quality management is came into picture in from S4 HANA 2020 version. So after 2020 again 2021, 2022 like that new versions has been introduced in the MDG those versions in 2021 they have added business rules along with derivations as well in this particular section we are having only validations later they introduced validation separately derivation separately in 2021 system that is why in my computer only um, old ones are there like only business rules are there not about validations and derivations separately so here in theory we can scroll down and we can see that new tile which has been introduced data quality management for business partner that means DQM is specific to business partner and material only it is not for finance and all they haven't introduced for finance and custom data models their data quality management so let's open that data quality management for business partners so inside this all these tiles are there data quality rules manage rule mining process rules from rule mining data quality evaluation and evaluation results these are all introduced in data quality management section now if we go into data quality rules this is the place where we will maintain validations here so here as of now there are no rules in the system if we want to create a new data quality rule we have to go into that particular part so before going there let's understand for now in a customer governance what are the existing business rules which are coming so let's go into business partner governance or let's go into customer governance because I want to focus on customer now let's go into customer governance here we can see manage customer let's click on that so this will open in a few seconds now here in new organization create customer this is the custom CR type I have created so let's go into this so after clicking check we can see enter a description of change request and enter a value for field first name of organization so only two validations are coming now now suppose our requirement is to make salutation mandatory in the change request so if we want to make that one a salutation mandatory also the additional um, if even if we make anything to a particular field DQM will automatically show red border to that particular field so if we do the validation it doesn't show red border around that field that is the advantage so user can easily read that particular field and fill it that is easier one so to create a new rule here let's click on create data quality rule now 
left side we can see data quality rules repository all the rules we can see here in left side so right side in that particular section we have to fill all the mandatory fields now so we can give any naming convention there is nothing specific like uh, in, inside USMD rule we will do right that should be specific but here we can give any naming convention it is not like standard any naming convention we can give so here in ta here table so salutation belongs to business partner data so it will be inside but triple zero as we know rule name means next let's fill rule name so rule name means the one which we have to show to the user if it fails if a business rule is failing in uh, failing then we have to send a message to the user that message will be the rule name so we can fill it here so we are doing for salutation right so that is why we can make salutation is mandatory for so let's give customer or supplier salutation is mandatory for customer or supplier so this message we want to show whenever salutation is not filled by user so check the field we can fill or else we don't need to fill this is not mandatory so let's fill it no issues so bu2000 in that table which field we have to give so salutation it will be here so go down now i can see title letter that is salutation i am opening that one so these are field now so other general information data below this now here status also we can see status is new so this is in draft mode we can see draft saved below that so draft saved is showing right at the bottom of the screen that is because it is not yet created in the system so that status will be new state only so business description means this one can given by business based on their requirement at a functional uh, person can fill this one business description so the description can be to make salutation mandatory for customers so business reason we can give anything it is just free text field i am giving like to make sure that salutation is mandatory for all existing records for all cre newly created records like that we can just fill this scope is also it will be filled if it but these are all not mandatory these are all just optional parameters so that someone uh, if, if they want to reach out some particular person they can reach out to that implementation expert like that so let's go down nothing is there to fill now we have to create this rule currently status is in new st new state after creating also it will be in new state only but it will not be in draft version so let's do it so it is now it is not in draft version now i am a technical guy but this one is managed by functionals generally so that is why for them it this, there will be option now send for implementation option will be there or else they can directly approve this rule as well that is one option so if they want to send for revision uh, send for implementation they can click on that one so that it will go to uh, that status so the technical person will do it currently you in usage we haven't added anything and also in additional information we can link to central governance bodies or as uh, business partner elements as well here in additional information so that even if we created previously we can just manage here from additional information so that will be like a reference so currently it is not yet existing in the system that's why i'm clicking in add usage check in change request only this one we have to fill it for mdg part 
if you want to do it for consolidation we can do the below one like that so now click on prepare now we have to give base table but triple zero we have to fill it here so after filling this this means that but triple zero will be available in the below sections so here but triple zero will be available inside expression scope expression and condition expression so generally what is scope expression scope means a broader perspective at a, of a business rule that means this business rule has to get uh, triggered only for the non archived records for the records which are archived in the archived in the system those should not trigger any derivations so that is why broader perspective is called scope expression so detailed ex um, detailed perspective is condition expression so uh, let's go into scope expression here we can see this one has been created by sap by this framework go to edit mode and we have to replace that with our own app brand that means this one we have to replace with our app brand so as i want to make scope for all of the records in the system that is why i am going to give boolean value here true so every time if i want to pass this value as true i am giving true equal to true here so true equal to i will change this one to true so every time this will be satisfied so that scope will be for all all the places so that's what so save this and activate now go back now we have to go to condition expression scope expression is showing as active now condition expression it is status is initial so go into this expression so click on the expression check valued salutation con so this one is bit uh, detailed so it is like if we want to make salutation as mandatory we have to go and fill salutation here so because we have given base table here it will be available as a context so click on edit and here go to edit operand so go to edit operand that sap given one it is not useful now so in context go to more we want to check salutation here go down and scroll it so directly we can filter it by using name or else we can search it manually it will be in alphabetical order as we can see so click on salutation and click on okay select this click on okay now this will be filled so next after salutation we have to make sure if this is giving false whenever that whenever that particular value give is giving as false then only the rule will trigger that means here false should be triggered for the rule triggering so if the particular value in the ui is empty then only false should be triggered that means we have to give it in a reverse way so here in salutation we want to make some value then this should not trigger so i am giving as is not initial so that means whenever this is not initial that means whenever this is not initial then it this rule will satisfy so it will not result in any error so if if we don't give anything then it will be initial right so that is why the if condition will not satisfy and it will return as false to the front end so that is why because of false statement that rule condition will trigger in the front end like that we have to understand this is like somewhat reverse 
so it has to result for, uh, it has to give false as output in order to trigger in front end that is what we have to understand so i am saving it and activating it that's it we have implemented this so let's go back and see this scope expression is active and condition expression is also active now don't think we can directly check this this is like a workflow so that status is still to be implemented only so we have to approve it or else if we send for the implementation a particular uh, technical consultant will take it upon and make changes to this if necessary so like that we have to click on send for implementation now so currently status is new status so later after that from status new it will get changed to to be implemented state if you click on send for implementation currently i am like a functional now we are seeing from technical perspective now tech, uh, technical guy will check to be implemented status and he will do unit testing technical unit testing so here still that rule is not yet active they can just see in view mode if we try to enable this this will not get enabled because first it has to get approved by the functional so i am clicking on send for testing so it will be sent to testers now it is to be tested status is so testers will see this and try to check this scenario now also testers will check and click on approve now this has been approved now this one we can enable that's it now status is in approved state and this particular rule is also in approved state inside check check in change request is also approved now let's go to fiery launchpad slash and slash ui to slash flp if we open that let's check in front end so even before checking that we have to go to mdg img and make that change request and its step to be open for dqm validations so we have to enable that by default it will not be enabled for first time we have to go inside that change request and go to change request step so we are in requester level right i am checking 00 and go inside enhancements and check for change request step here you can see this one is already having relevant uh, check box but first time when you are doing it it will not be relevant so that is why we have to enable this one we have to enable that relevant ticked and then save it and act, uh, save it and go back so this is for validation rules save it and go back that's it so this particular change request is open for data quality management now now whatever this framework sends uh, any messages that message will be shown to the front end user now so we, it is ready to test create customer click on okay so we can see on clicking on check description will be mandatory and name one will be mandatory but additionally along with these two validations one new validation came up at the bottom we can see salutation is mandatory for customer or supplier so this one is new one so if we click on display help there we can check that it is coming from data quality management so we can see mdq 
data quality rule salutation is mandatory it is showing so it this like this it will show in front end from dqm on enabling that particular configuration in the MD, mdj mg that's it guys so we can also see it has been highlighted in red color that field thank you guys